the science of attraction. Yes, 15% of love is attraction. And we're all here to find true love. And to understand true love, we need to understand all the elements that make up true love. Oh yeah, welcome to the channel. Fasten your seatbelts, we are gonna be bringing you some very high quality content. And we're today gonna to be covering the science of attraction. Yes, attraction. We like to think of romantic feelings as spontaneous as and indescribable things that come from the heart, like butterflies. But it's actually your brain running a complex series of calculations within a matter of seconds for you to feel attraction. That's responsible for determining attraction. But just because the calculations are happening in the brain, it doesn't mean those warm fuzzy feelings are in your head. In fact, all five of your senses play a role, each able to vote for or veto or building attraction. The eyes are the first components in attraction. For eye contact, it evokes emotion. Looking deep into the eyes where you're drawn to each other, smiling will make you more attractive. Many visual beauty standards vary between cultures and eras and signs of youth, fertility, good health, such as long lustrous hair or smooth scar-free skin are always in demand because they're associated with reproductive fitness. And when the eyes spot something they like, our instinct is to move closer so the other senses can investigate. Second is smell. The nose's contribution to romance is more than noticing perfume or cologne. It's able to pick up natural chemical signals known as pheromones. These not only convey important physical or genetic information about their source, but are able to activate a psychological or behavioral response in the recipient. A good smelling partner will be more attractive. Our ears also determine attraction. Research shows men prefer females with higher pitched breathy voices and wide format spacing cor correlated with smaller body size. While women prefer low pitched voices with a narrow format spacing that suggests a larger body size. The fourth sense is touch. Touch turns out to be the crucial for romance. Touching boosts attraction, shows a partner you're interested, you will feel closer and connected. If a potential mate has managed to pass all these senses, you will move on to the first kiss the very first kiss, a rich and complex exchange of tactile and chemical cues, such as smell of one's breath and taste of their mouth. This magical moment is so crucial that a majority of men and women have reported losing their attraction to someone after a very bad kiss. Once attraction is confirmed, your bloodstream is flooded with norepinephrine. Your heart beats faster, your pupils dilate, and your body releases glucose for additional energy, enhancing your memory. This is why people never forget their first kiss. To keep attraction alive, we have to keep ourselves in the best shape we can and looking after ourselves. This eliminates cheating and you will find you are drawn to each other. The journey of love starts here and we have to understand that for attraction to work for the rest of your life together, you have to keep working on yourself to keep your partner attracted to you. Always be yourself and confident and remember, it's your personality that does also attract the opposite person. We as humans think once we have attracted the opposite sex, the hard bit's done and we no longer have to keep working on ourselves. But that's why 65% of marriages and relationships fail because people let themselves go. No, we never let ourselves go because as partners, we are always growing and we're growing together, which makes life so colorful. And every second that we are together, we wanna make it as enjoyable and as memorable as possible. That's why we have to keep working on ourselves to become better people, to keep attraction alive. I hope this was valuable to yourselves as it was to me. I will leave links for two understanding videos right here for you guys to view at your own leisurely place. I would like to thank you very much and I will be sharing a lot of my research on more videos to come. 
keep watching. Thank you very much.